Do you know what is a landing page? And what is the purpose of having it? You see, a landing page is different from a home page. Why? Because it has only one objective, which is to convert. Let's say if you are running a business and you want to drive your product or services to the marketplace, you definitely need the landing page. And if you stay till the end of the video, I will share with you the six types of landing pages that you can explore so that you can start using it to drive your product or services to the marketplace. Let's deep dive in, shall we? The first type of landing pages that I want to share is called a squeeze page. You can also call it a lead gen page. The purpose of a squeeze page is to collect your lead's information. Let's say if you have a business and you are driving an email marketing campaign, you want to attract a list of target audience to subscribe to your email list. What you can do is to create a squeeze page in the form of a lead magnet. That means you can create a free ebook, checklist, report, or white paper. Based on this example, I have created a squeeze page in the form of an ebook to be given to my target audience. So before they can get my ebook, they need to enter their information like first name, email address, and company name. Why is this so valuable is because once you have collected their information like their email address, you can promote your product or services to them. So let's say if you want to collect your target audience information, you can always create a squeeze page for your business. Okay, the second type of landing page that I want to talk about is called a splash page. It is a landing page where companies use it to promote an event, make a public announcement, presenting a disclaimer, or checking for any age verification. I'll give you a perfect example of a splash page. It is a website that sells alcoholic drinks. It's called Dito Voca. Okay, as you can see from this landing page, there is a pop-up message asking for visitors information like, for example, are you of legal drinking age? For visitors who want to visit this website, they want to click on either yes or no. As you can see, this company is collecting information from the visitors before they are allowing them to enter their landing page. So let's say for example, if you have a business and you want to collect certain information first before they proceed to browse your landing page, you can always create a splash page for your business. Now, the third type of uh, landing page which is very popular among the software as a service or platform as a service companies is called the click-through landing page. Let's take a look at one of the examples by Moss which is an SEO software company. As you can see, there's this simple call to action button over here uh, which is called the start my free 30-day trial. Let's say I'm a visitor, I want to purchase a full suite of the software by Moss. But before that, I want to have a test first. I want to try out this software, whether it's very useful and effective for me. So by having this 30-day trial, it gives me uh, assurance that, uh, let's say after I try out this software for 30 days and I find it very useful, I will be more likely to buy from Moss. So to improve the conversion rate, a lot of software as a service or platform as a service companies are implementing the trial version on their click-through landing page. This will allow the visitors to get a taste of what the software like before they committed to purchase the full suite of the software. Let's say if you have a business who is operating in software as a service or platform as a service, you can consider creating a click-through landing page. Okay, next I'll click on this button called the Start My Free 30 Day Trial and it will bring me to another landing page called the Lead Capture Form page. In this Lead Capture Form page, it is very similar to the Squeeze page which I mentioned, just that it requires to collect more detailed information from your visitors. For example, besides collecting your, their first name, their email and company name, you can also collect their interest 
okay to find out why they're interested in this software and also their company size the company industry their address the country they're living the postal code so if you want to find out more information about your visitors and to understand why they are so interested to try out this software you can consider creating this detailed lead capture form page for your business all right the fifth type of landing page which is also my favorite and i always do it for businesses is called the sales landing page it is actually a product page to showcase what are you offering be it your product or a service and the ultimate goal of a sales landing page is to persuade people to buy one of the most common questions that i always saw is do you need a short form or a long form landing page i would say it depends on the price of your offer if it's a high ticket offer you will definitely need more information to put inside your sales landing page so that to justify why your product or service is so good that's why you need a longer form of sales landing page if your offer is a high ticket where else if it's a low ticket you do not need to put in so much information to justify your offer the only difference between a sales landing page and the other landing pages that i mentioned earlier is it required a lot of information to be placed inside for example you need to highlight who is your customer persona who is this for like in this case is for the chocolate lovers and also to put in the captivating headline to attract your audience to read from first to the last paragraph you can also put in the sub headline or maybe put in some benefit in bullets point as well you also need to highlight the challenges and the pain points of your audience so that they can resonate with what you're offering to solve their problems and you can also put in the uh, testimonials for social proof to boost up your authority and put in your creators profile to put in the objections that your audience might have in the FAQ section and to package your offer to make it attractive for your audience to buy and also lastly to have a clear call to action for your audience to proceed next because if your call to action is not clear they will not be motivated to move on to buy from you so all these elements are very critical to have a high converting sales landing page and you need to take note of if you are creating a landing page for yourself okay the last type of landing page that i want to talk about is your thank you page it is actually a lead nurturing tool where a lot of people never utilize it properly for example if your prospect has registered a webinar free of form or make a purchase you can directly channel them to the next course of action like for example in this case uh, my subscribers has downloaded my ebook i will channel them to my social media channel to let them follow me or subscribe or you can even put them into some email sequence to nurture them for the next purchase so if you want a high converting landing page you can utilize your thank you page to make more conversions for you i hope this video is beneficial for you to give you a better understanding of the different types of landing pages and the purpose of it i have also come up with my previous video over here to talk about why your landing page can't convert and how to fix them immediately and if you enjoyed this video please remember to click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell and leave a comment and let me know what type of new topics that you are interested with so that i can produce more of this video just to benefit you well, that's all for now and I'll see you in my next video.